why I did not refinance our home. What up, you got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and in this brief video, I just want to tell you why I didn't refinance. Now, great interest rates have been among us for, you know, the past year and a half. I've seen the rates go to little or nothing, and when I say little or nothing, I'm talking zero. I've seen it go to 1%, and zero is hard to beat, I'm going to say that. But, you know, uh, how the bank set it up, they still had a position or in a position to win, even when it's something that's zero point something percent in terms of interest rate. I've seen one percent, two percent, four percent. People have sent me things in the mail trying to get me to refinance. But as it relates to refinancing, it never just really made sense. People can sell it and, and make it sound great, which it has its pros, I'm sure. And I can't see a person paying less on a mortgage after they refinance and now they have lower mortgage notes. So they're, you know, inevitably saving money in a sense due to the fact that if they continue to make the same amount of payments or the same amount in payments as they were before, then by default, they're going to pay their loan off sooner. Or if they do, you know, some other things to um, keep more of their cash flow and say they pay the new amount. But that extra amount they put it somewhere else and start investing, then that could be a benefit to them. But the reason why I didn't refinance ties into the fact that it's a better way. And secondly, because it's like restarting what you already accomplished. So if you've been in your mortgage for five years and good interest rates show up, and then you decide to reinvest and you get into another 30 year mortgage, just using that as an example then you've been in the house five years, but you got a new 30 years tacked to it. It's like you've been in a mortgage or paying some paying a bank for 35 years. That just didn't resonate with me. That just didn't make sense to me. Plus, in addition to that, not only are you resetting the mortgage, you also typically have to put something down, do some closing costs. So you got to pay to start over just to tap into the interest rate so they get new commissions off of that decision they get new commissions off of that decision so i just want you to think about that if you're in a place of considering refinancing think about what it's doing and if you really want to know the best way that i found to go about doing that the best way i found to go about doing that that can save you a ton of money have you pay your mortgage off sooner and give you some a sense of, of freedom because of the additional perks that come along with this strategy, click that available link down below so you can take advantage of the free ebook, the free guide that shows you how to pay your mortgage off in five to seven years on your same income and possibly save upwards of $100,000. Thank me later, but if you haven't already refinanced, I recommend against it. And this may be against popular belief you know this is my unpopular opinion but i don't mind sharing my unpopular opinion if i feel it may benefit you so hopefully this has benefited you and i know for sure that ebook will benefit you mr smith signing out salute